Welcome to the channel guys. We are back again for another First Impression Fridays. Today I'm going to be looking at two fragrances from Wilhelm Perfumery. Now I did try uh, Morning Chess, but today I'm going to be looking at Mango Skin and Smoke Show. So stay tuned for that. If you like first impressions, top 10 lists, clone comparisons, and fragrance reviews, hit that subscribe button for more great content. So as I mentioned, I have tried Morning Chess. I know that's the one that gets definitely the most talk from the house. It's kind of their version of Aventus. And to me, it's actually very, very similar, unlike something like Hachivat, which does start off quite similar, but certainly does its own thing. I found that Morning Chess is very, could much more easily be called a clone than something like Hachivat. That being said, I did want to try out some of their other fragrances. I had heard good things, I think, about mango skin i seem to remember hearing someone saying you know that was a good one and i do like mango so i want to see how good that is and i was looking at some of their other fragrances smoke show sounded really nice it's a leather oud fragrance so could certainly be kind of up my alleyway could also be something i don't like um at all we're about to find out i'm gonna get into mango skin first seems a little bit more suitable for the season um and you know what it just it sounded really nice so, let's just get right into it. Getting a little bit of a whiff of that just from off my hand. Whew. That is really, actually really, really nice. It did in the air have this nice, almost soda pop kind of feel to it. I definitely get this very uplifting, sweet, I will say it does feel a little bit feminine-y, kind of like, uh, maybe like a little bit like shampoo or body lotion. It does have a little bit of a candied vibe. I will say the mango in this is nothing like Moonlight in Heaven. So, to me, if you want a really, really good mango note, Moonlight in Heaven, if you want something really nice and really realistic, that's the, that's the one to get. Um, the mango is very pronounced in the opening and a little bit into the mid, but it's definitely very pronounced in the opening. Smells like somebody's cutting up a mango right in front of you. Not so much getting that vibe, whereas, you know, you can really picture a mango with Moonlight in Heaven. This one, it does have the sweet, little bit candied. It does definitely feel a little bit feminine. Now, I, I know this one, I do, did look at the notes for both of these. Um, I will confess on that time, on, on doing that for this particular uh, occasion and um, there are a lot of florals in this one and, and I do get a little bit like I said that is one thing that to me does typically give it a little bit of a feminine vibe or fragrances tend to tend to feel that way um, but it doesn't smell overly floral it is just again something where this does come off as this really nice sweet does have a little bit of a tropical feel to it kind of a, a vibe to it but it, there is something that has a little bit of like a, a luxury shampoo feel it is nice but you know it also reminds me maybe of like even a, it could be like um kind of like a not a cocktail but those kinds of like mango fruity kinds of drinks maybe like one of those slurpy things just has one of those kind of um Almost a tropical drink vibe, but not boozy in any way. Not feeling really aquatic, but very much like uh, liquefied fruits, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Ultimately nice. Ultimately it is nice. It's a, it's a, it does smell uh, pleasant. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. Let it marinate. Um, see if uh, it develops over the, you know, next couple of minutes. I'm going to try this um, smoke show. Now, hopefully, this one is as good as it sounds. You know, woody leather. Um, I do like a lot of woody leather fragrances. Not all of them. Not finding this one actually to be as strong as right off the rip. Because I could smell mango skin even just as it's putting on my hand. Not so much this one. But definitely right away getting... It, it does have a bit of a familiar vibe to it, although it doesn't smell... I wouldn't say it smells exactly like something, but there is something there that reminds me a little bit of something I'm familiar with. Definitely has this lightly spicy, 
um, woody vibe. Now it's not overly spicy. It's not like a spice bomb. It's not like a spice blend even. It's not like a cardamom type of, of vibe. But it definitely does actually have a fairly strong spicy woody vibe to it. There is definitely a fragrance that it reminds me of that I can't think of. I get a little bit of the leather actually too. It has a little bit of that slick um, kind of clean feel to it. Um, well, more of a rugged, but if you think of leather, the texture, it has this sort of slick, almost, I mean, especially if you've put protective oil on it, it's got a slick kind of uh, smooth, a little bit slippery kind of surface. It does actually give me that impression with it, with that leatheriness. I'm actually starting to get the leather much more than the wood. The woody, woodiness, you know, there is a little bit of this sort of, a um, little bit of this kind of skankiness, not not in an at all particularly animalic, but in a little bit more of a rough vibe, uh, which I would probably say has something to do with the leather and the oud. Although I wouldn't consider this to be at all challenging, but it is something that I don't think would be, it doesn't come off to me as particularly mass appealing. Spicy, slightly again, um, leathery, with a little bit of that woodiness coming through. And I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm gonna go back to mango skin, but I'm actually getting mango. This is kind of interesting because, um, you know, mango skin is kind of a little bit more of a fresh tropical fragrance, but even as I'm just sitting here, I'm getting whiffs of this one like crazy um, over top of the uh, smoke show. So despite smoke show maybe having what seems to me as being much denser uh, and heavier fragrance notes, the, the projection and the strength of mango skin is really quite impressive. It's very, very strong. It does overall have a little bit more of a flowery feel to it. It does feel a little bit less feminine now that it's, it still has a little bit of that kind of shampoo-y vibe, but um, not as strong. But it just still comes across like that sort of candied mango. And this does, it does feel to me a little bit more like a woman's fragrance. I'll be honest. I'm not somebody who's super, super gendery when it comes to fragrances. Uh, but there are certain things that I personally do sort of associate or tend to think of as more feminine or masculine. And this one is definitely giving me the top. This is a very slight kind of powdery feel. Not overly powdery, but it's a very, very slight kind of feeling with that. It gives it almost this kind of sweet, uh, chalky texture. It's almost like a little bit of chalk on your fingers, that kind of texture. Um, but, but not overly overwhelming or anything. Overall, it's really nice. I think it would be a really good fragrance for the spring, uh, definitely summer evening as well like i said i do feel like this is a little bit more of a woman's fragrance um and, and i will say the mango is not as nice as say something like uh, moonlight in heaven um but it does have a fairly nice mango note and if you like mango you might actually like this one quite a bit but it, it does again come across a lot more like a, a really luxury or nice smelling shampoo or body wash um, which, you know, some fragrances do that and do that really well. Um, it's nice, but again, I would probably pass on this one. But spring, summer evenings would probably work really well. It is a, it is a little bit more tropical feeling. Uh, so it also has that kind of going for it. So definitely good with the season. I'm going to go back to the smoke show, see if it's developed a little bit. So this one is definitely more leathery. Um, in fact, the leather is becoming to me the most dominant vibe to it. I don't remember if this one has like an incense, but the, the leather does come off a slightly sort of dark smoky feel to it. I know I've smelled this note, it's Russian leather. Um, and it does have a very distinct vibe to it that's a little bit smoky as opposed to, um, you know, something from like ombre leather or even Russian leather. The fragrance by Memo does not have that Russian leather smell, but I've smelled it as a note and it does have a very particular kind of leather vibe, which I do get a little bit with this one, which is nice. This is a definitely a little bit more rugged, 
contrasting you know the mango skin i would put this more in the masculine category but it doesn't scream like masculine to me it just um it's definitely something that i think a lot of people would categorize more that way there's almost a slightly alcoholic feeling like a very small hint of some kind of booziness i'm not sure what that is but there is this very small hint of a slight booziness but this one is nice. I feel like it's a little bit more complex, a little bit more serious, something that could be a little bit more formal. It's it, it does have a certain mysterious vibe to it. And so I think it's something you could wear on a night out, uh, especially if you're gonna be wearing a suit, like if you're going to a smoking lounge or whatever, um, something a little bit more upscale. This one works really nicely. Definitely a little bit more of a fall winter fragrance. It didn't come off that strong, um, but it does certainly have uh, the right notes to work in the fall and winter. Now, altogether, you know, I think these are both interesting fragrances. Definitely unique, definitely their own thing. Or more unique than Morning Chess, anyways. I'm going to slightly give the edge to uh, Smoke Show, saying I think I do enjoy that one a little bit more. Mango Skin, nice, but it does have a little bit of that uh, feminine shampoo feel to it, which a lot of people love, and, uh, you know, it is... It is to me one of those kind of fragrances and if you like those kinds of fragrances absolutely awesome so you should check that one out like i said with smoke show a little bit more rugged a little bit more masculine has a little bit of that nice uh russian leathery feel not to be confused with the memo fragrance which to me i hated russian leather um but this one has a very nice somewhat smoky leathery feel a little bit of spice in it it definitely tapers off quite quickly and i did get a little a hint of something boozy i'm not sure if i'm just imagining that but it does have a little bit of complexity it is a little bit more of those heavier darker kind of notes and if those are your things definitely one to check out from wilhelm but absolutely mango skin is the performance beast i'm still getting siage from that one just moving around not so much from smoke show so maybe you know it's one i just kind of go a little bit more agnostic to um, or maybe it, it isn't as much of a projector and does sit a little bit closer to the skin. That's something I would have to investigate uh, myself, but definitely um, Mango Skin feels like the stronger one based on first impressions. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. If you've tried anything from Wilhelm, do leave a comment down below what ones you tried um, and whether you like them. If there's something you enjoyed or have a recommendation from Wilhelm that is not the ones I'm talking about today or Morning Chess, definitely leave a comment down below. Would be interesting to try more. I do kind of like the bottle aesthetic, um, but not sure I really love any of the fragrances yet, although Smoke Show is actually kind of nice. Anyways, that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.